The Science and Technology Education Partnership Foundation, or STEP, works to provide science and technology programs to schools and the community. They look for partnerships for such initiatives and found one in South Plymouth at Camp Borndale. Late Plymouth resident Bill Lusader, who was the director for the planetarium at Plymouth Intermediate School, had a dream to have an observatory and telescope in town to complement his work. Camp Borndale identified itself as an ideal location for that initiative and will bring it into the camp's program of educational outdoor activities. PCN was able to see the telescope in operation and learn more about its new purpose. Hi, I'm, I'm Ani Gerson. I'm the owner and operator of Camp Borndale. Uh, we have been an outdoor education uh, center since actually the mid-70s when um, we started bringing middle school students into Borndale for a science-oriented program. And obviously the time has passed and the technology has just improved dramatically. And having this observatory here as part of our outdoor education program is very, very special. The implications as to what it can do and what we can bring to students. Um, this is also going to be part of our summer camp program, which has primarily for years and years been a sports-oriented program and not that sports is taking a back seat, but now families and students are interested in marine science, uh, uh, this uh, uh, program dealing with the astronomy, et cetera. So we are really truly delighted as to what it can do and what we can bring to students. Um, now the, the outdoor education program is about a seven month program, spring and fall, where primarily middle school students from a variety of communities come to Borndale for a science program. And obviously the science is important, but the ramifications of the outdoor ed program with the sociability of kids spending time together above and beyond the academic time really makes this stay here very, very worthwhile. So we are truly delighted to have this as an amenity for our program. And I know that we're gonna be able to give to students uh, something that is far reaching from what we've done in the past. So uh, we want to thank Mike Petrasco for his work and how, how nicely he has worked with us in providing this kind of technology for students. The observatory was actually um, provided to Camp Borndale by the STEP Foundation. They raised money um, in their foundation for this observatory about 10 years ago and was looking for a good home for it. So after looking, scoping out different places, surveying other properties, they realized that this was the perfect fit for it. So they then brought it over here and built the decking here and uh, had it installed and then actually hired us to come in and actually connect it and get it all functional. The telescope is a um, GPS uh, remote robotic telescope and it allows to be controlled from a computer and it's got a 10 inch mirror in it and it, um, it's, it's good enough to like uh, image the planets and some other deep sky objects as well but mainly the planets, the brighter objects, and that'll allow people to observe them in the house as a computer that controls the telescope and the dome out here um, with some software. And then there'll be eventually, um, there'll be a imaging camera attached to the telescope that will provide images of the planets and the sun with a special filter and the moon and uh, galaxies as well. The, the computer has the software on it called Starry Night that connects to the telescope and the observatory dome. So you can, uh, it's planetarium software, so it shows you the night sky and then you pick out, you point to an object and you click on it and you say go to that object. So if the moon or let's say Saturn is on that software, you click on the object and the telescope would then slew to that object. It was a great opportunity for us to do something like this. Normally what we do are star parties and uh, observing sessions, uh, but to actually implement this was a first for us. It's known as a remote robotic telescope system. So um, it took a while. We had some challenges, but it was, it was well worth it. And we were, we were very fortunate to have the opportunity to do it.